All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the second, fifth anniversary player survey for Global is officially here. And in today's video, I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through it together, see what kind of questions Bandai has for us, and what kind of answers I want to give them. By the way, for anybody that is a little bit unsure about whether or not they should do it, I do recommend that you do it because we get four stones for completing the survey and it probably won't take you more than like five minutes at most so it's probably worth their time but I mean obviously it's up to you and also for anybody that does do the survey don't freak out if you don't get your stones immediately all right it says here that the rewards will be distributed within 42 hours after the event period has ended please note they will not be distributed when you finish the survey so the event period is from the 15th to the 18th, so it's going to be around the 19th to the 20th when we get our four stones. So uh, yeah, don't freak out if you don't get them immediately. Okay, so anyways, with all that said, let's jump in here and uh, see what kind of questions they have. So the first one is, do you know about Dokkan's official social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram? Yes, yes I do. Okay, so that's... Part one, pretty simple. Second question, do you follow the official Facebook account? Yes, I do. Even though, honestly, I'm not really sure why I still follow them on Facebook at this point because I never use Facebook anymore. Like, I'm not sure about you guys, but at this point, it's pretty much just Twitter and Instagram, right? Oh, on a related note, talking about Facebook, where are the damn rewards for hitting a million likes on the Facebook page? All right, like they did some login bonuses, for 900,000 likes, 800,000 likes, 700,000 likes, and so on and so forth. But recently, like a month or two ago, we hit a million likes on the Facebook page and they didn't do anything for it. And it makes no sense to me. Just putting that out there for the Bandai Spies watching. All right, we noticed, we're still waiting. Okay, but anyways, yes, I do follow the Facebook page. Uh, number three, do you follow the official Twitter account? Yes, I do. Do you follow the official Instagram account? Yes, I do. For players who answered yes for any question from two to four, why do you follow the official social media accounts? Um, let's see, to participate in the Facebook slash Twitter campaigns, yes. To get the latest game information. I mean, honestly, it's kind of rare for the official pages to give us like the latest information because usually we already get the leaks, but um, yeah, sometimes they tell us things that we didn't know, right? So I guess I'll put that in. Uh, no reason in particular. An influencer I like mentioned it. I mean, I've mentioned it. I do like myself. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to choose that. Okay. So number six, for players who answered yes for any question from two to four, what do you use the official social media accounts for? Um... Isn't this the same question? Why do you follow? What do you use the social media accounts for? What does that mean? How's that different? Uh, to participate in the Facebook slash Twitter campaigns. Uh, to get the latest information. To retweet and share game information. I guess when they post like the animations and stuff like that, I do retweet them. So choose that. Okay, that's fine. To comment on game information posts. Um, not so much, just to follow, to check out other followers' comments. Yeah, not so much. I'm not really reading too many comments on their posts, so that's not really relevant either, but I guess we'll just leave it at that. Number seven, for players who answered yes for any questions from two to four, are there any improvements you would like to see regarding official postings? Game events should be introduced faster slash earlier. That's always good. Okay, I'll choose that. Maintenance notifications should be posted earlier. Um, usually they give us the maintenance notice in game, like pretty far in advance, right? Typically it's like a couple days to a week, so I think they're doing fine there. I'd like social media campaigns to be held more frequently. Oh yes, absolutely, because more social media campaigns means more free stones. So who wouldn't choose that? Yo, if you guys are doing the survey right now, you better choose more social media campaigns, all right? Because... Who doesn't want those free stones from the social media campaigns? Like, I'll be honest, I don't care about the campaign itself. I don't really care what the questions are or what the theme is, but I want those stones. Okay, so choose that. I'd like to be able to communicate with the development and management teams more. That would be insane. 
that would be awesome to like you know, just have a little discussion about what things or what features or what improvements we'd like to see in the game um that'd be really sick i don't really know if they would actually make any changes based on those interactions but the ability to actually do that would be kind of cool right so i'll choose that the posted banner designs are difficult to understand the posted content is difficult to understand um I mean, there's not really much to misinterpret, right? Like, they post banner images, they post animations, they post information for new units, and uh, that's mostly what you see on their social media. So there's not, yeah, there's not much that really confuses me. Hmm, that's fine. Okay, number eight. For players who know about the official social media accounts but don't follow, why don't you follow any of the official social media accounts? So obviously this doesn't apply to me, but... Let me just see the options here. I can check in-game notices for up-to-date information. I get game information somewhere else besides the official social media. There isn't any posted content that I'm looking forward to at the moment. Posts are being made too frequently. Um, I'm guessing the real reason, honestly, for a lot of people who don't follow the social media accounts is because they probably get them from data leakers and you know people like me who actually you know make videos about the leaks to get that information out there early, right? So. I guess if Bandai really, you know, wants people to follow their social media accounts more, then they would have to post the information before the data leakers get that info, right? So um, that's probably the main reason, if I was to guess. Okay, number nine. What do you look forward to from these official social media accounts? Um, you know, these these questions are like very similar. Obviously, they're phrased differently. But I feel like I'm answering the same question over and over again. Like, doesn't it feel like that to you guys? So, what do I look forward to? Okay, uh, latest game information, Facebook slash Twitter uh, campaigns, um, information about game updates. Sure, why not? Information with the or interactions with the development and management teams. Sure, uh, announcements about maintenance, um, implementation slash completion. Once again, I get that from in-game, but sure, it's not really a bad thing for them to post it somewhere else too, right? And uh, number 10, do you think official social media posts affect your in-game choices slash actions? Um, no, not at all. Next. So that was 10 questions so far. Uh, how, many, how many in total are there? Oh, that's it. So it only goes up to 15. Okay, so 15 questions, if you guys do it properly and aren't like talking throughout the entire thing like I am, it should only take you like five minutes. Uh, okay, so number 11, when is playing Dokkan the most exciting for you? When I get the characters I want from summons, obviously. When performing summons, whether or not I get the character I want. I mean, this is true though, like when I'm doing the summons, it's, it's the you know, kind of mystery of whether or not I'm going to get the unit that's really hype, right? And obviously when I actually pull the unit, that's extra hype, but yeah, when I'm summoning just in general, it gives you that rush, right? Kind of that hit that like gets you going, right? So, and I sound like a junkie. I really do. Okay, anyways, um, yes, when performing summons, when performing token awakenings, not really. That is by far not the most fun part of this game, all right? Because the token awakening process is actually pretty tedious. Like you're just running the same event over and over again for the medals. So I would actually like it if they kind of changed up the whole process of getting the medals, but it's kind of part of the core gameplay. So I'm not really sure what they could do with it, but I mean, let's be honest, man. Like we're not, people are not really excited to run a Dokkan event like 11 times for the medals. It's just something we gotta do, right? So I'm not gonna choose that. When I see a cool animation of a super attack or active skill, yeah, for sure. Um, when I get hidden potential to 100%, obviously, rainbowing units is hella fun. Uh, when I clear a highly difficult event, yes. And uh, when I clear event missions. Um, I mean, it's not really the act of completing the mission itself that's fun. It's more so the rewards, which is the, the Dragonstone specifically, when I complete the missions, right? So... If this means they'll give us more missions for more stones, then absolutely, all right? Okay, number 12. When do you lose motivation to play Dokkan battle? Uh, when I don't get the characters I want, when I lose a battle, nah, it's fine. 
Um, when I don't know how to form a party that can win in a battle. Um, I can see this being a problem actually for a lot of like newer players um, or people who just play kind of casually. But at this point, it's not really a too big of an issue. I'm not trying to flex or anything like that. It's just like, you know, honestly, like I have a very good box, right? It's not the best one, but it's it, it's good, right? I've been playing for a long time. I spent a good amount of money in this game. So generally speaking, when it comes to new events, I will eventually figure out a team that can beat any new event, right? I mean, obviously, depends on what's coming in the future. But at this point, it's not so much an issue. Um, When I've run out of content to play. <laughs> yes, for sure. When I don't understand how to play, um, given what I do on this platform, it's kind of my job to figure out how to do a new event, right? So, uh, yeah, not really relevant to us there. Uh, when the explanations are too long, character attributes, how to play events, etc. When it takes a long time to raise characters. Okay, something that specifically comes to mind would be like a Prime Battle LR, for example, that takes between six to eight hours to fully grind out, even longer if you want to do the double grind for the free super attack 20. But um, honestly, I don't think it's that much of an issue, mainly because I think free to play LRs should, you know, be hard to get, right? It should be something that is earned as opposed to like something that anybody can get within 10, 15 minutes of gameplay or even an hour of gameplay. Um, so I kind of like that slight exclusivity part because only the people that will put in the time to you know grind out all 777 medals plus the dupes plus the other awakening medals um, can have them. And when someone shows me their box, it's not really like the LRs and the Dokkan Fest units that impress me. It's when I see that they have all the free to play LRs, that's the most impressive part, you know? So. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it is annoying sometimes, but I don't think I'm going to select it because, you know, like I said, I think that certain things should be a little bit more exclusive, right? Uh, when reward drops are bad. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. When reward rates are bad. Increase the drop rates, man, for everything. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, this kind of goes against what I just said about the exclusivity part of certain units, but... Um, if we're talking about just like events in general, like story events and stuff like that, then I think it really couldn't hurt to increase the rates for characters, awakening medals and all that stuff, especially if people are farming for like, you know, orbs or like a free to play unit or uh, EZA medals for extreme Z area events, because let's be honest, nobody likes extreme Z areas um, and stuff like that. If we're talking about just like the entire game in general, the increase in the drop rates would definitely be great. Um, so yeah, you know what, I, I, I'm gonna select that. You know, what? I kind of want to choose this too because I feel like some people are gonna get mad at me for not choosing it, but I think I stand by what I said before, man. I think there are some things in this game that should take longer, that should take a while to acquire, all right? And it's kind of that grinding component that makes getting certain things in this game more rewarding, right? So i'ma leave it i'ma leave it and the last option is when there is too much content okay that has never been an issue for me that has never been an issue they could release a new event every single day and i would not complain that it's too much content you know so we're definitely not choosing that um user id so i'ma actually keep this fairly low key at the moment because i don't have any uh, space in my friends list and I don't want anybody wasting their time trying to add me and getting that users friend list is full message so for now I'm gonna keep it low key until they either you know expand our friends lists or I can make some space to add people all right so there is the code uh, what's your gender uh, male and how old are you 20 or under between 21 and 24, between 25 and 29, 30 and 40, 35 and 40, or 41 and over. I guess we're doing an age reveal in this video. I know I look young, but uh, you know what they say about Asians and aging, right? We basically just look young forever until we hit a certain point and then it just all goes downhill from there. So I'm actually 47. No, I'm just kidding. I'm 25. <laughs> I'm 25. I'm old, 
but not that old okay just at the lower limit of this range here and uh, I've actually said this multiple times in previous videos so it's not really much of a reveal but if you guys were curious there you go your boy is 25 years old turning 26 next February 11th mark that in your calendars okay so I guess that's it we hit confirm and that should do it for the survey we can check our answers here but I don't really care that much so let's just hit register and there it is we're done thank you very much for your cooperation to answer our questionnaire and uh, we will be getting our four dragon stones in our box in a couple days so that does it for today's video survey complete people are asking me to do a video for the first uh, survey actually but I didn't really have a chance to get around to it but obviously I did answer it and I really hope that the part where they asked about a PvP mode is a sign that they've at least started development for a mode in the future where we can you know play against other people in real time I know not everybody is a fan of the idea because they think that you know PvP might ruin Dokkan but for me I've always had the mindset that you know try something first right I'm always down for new game modes and we should at least give it a shot and if it doesn't work out we can scrap it and just move on right but you never know until you try right so let's try a pvp mode see if it works see if people like it and if everybody hates it then just get rid of it right but i mean i want to see it happen all right i'm super down for pvp and dokkan they just got to do it properly and i think we should be okay so anyways guys, that is today's video. That is the second and final 5th anniversary survey. Hopefully Bandai actually, you know, takes some of these answers into consideration and uh, uses them to make some improvements to their social media platforms as well as the game itself. But uh, that's it. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you're going to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.